a very good day to all of you i hope that all of you have learned about writer 2 properly since the writer 2 classes finish here in the next class all of you will appear for a practical test and after that computer shiksha would conduct a written test in today's class you will practice some of the options that you have learned for writer 2 can you tell what happens with the status bar status bar shows the status of the page like on which page you are working how many pages do you have which language you are using how much have you zoomed etc can you tell what are non printing characters and how do you remove the non printing characters from your writer page non printing characters are those characters which you cannot print these are like special symbols which show the space and enter button used on the writer page in order to remove the non printing characters first you need to click on the view menu and then select the option for non printing characters that appears in the box that opens up when you click on the view menu the non printing characters will get removed from your sheet can you tell what happens with page break using page break you can break the page into two or more parts which means you can divide the page into parts as such using page break you can divide your document into many parts can you tell why we use hyperlink using hyperlink you can connect any file to your page with a link for the file using such links you can join many files to your page and can work together on such files if you want you can even use internet to link documents to your page can you tell what happens with default formatting with the use of default formatting you can remove any formatting that has been done on your line or paragraph and can make it appear as it was originally can you tell what is a table also why is it used a table is made by rows and columns this looks like your maths notebook can you tell why we use merge cell merge means to bring together or to make one from many we use merge cells to merge the contents of two or more cells into one can you tell why we use split cell split means to make into many parts or to separate one into many so using split cell you can split one cell into many cells or we can say you can make many parts from one if you want you can split the cell horizontally or vertically now switch on your computers and open your writer file have you opened the file or not if not then learn how to open the file using the method taught to you you can open the writer file in many ways so first of all you need to keep your left hand one finger on the windows key and press the r key a run a box opens which is the run window in this 
you have to without giving any spaces type out s writer s w r i t e r and then take the cursor or the pointer to the okay button and click on okay your writer document will open let us now know what we will be revising in today's class now you will practice using table options to view insert and format can you tell what all you have learned in view insert format and in table menus in the view menu you have learned about print layout web layout toolbar status bar ruler and also about non printing characters in the insert menu you learned about manual break special characters fields hyperlink and about header and footer in the format menu you learned about default formatting characters paragraph page bullets and numbering and about change case in the table menu you learned about table insert inserting rows and columns use of merge cell and split cell and about auto format have you opened the writer file now, now copy paste the given line 10 times ensuring that each line appears in a new line if you face any problems in this watch the video and learn from it with the help of this video we will once again practice the use of copy and paste so once you have typed the line on your page writer page you have to select it to be able to copy it so we first select the line to be able to copy it and you can use any of the methods that you have learned for selection as is being shown in the video we first select the line like this and now we can use the shortcut command for copy which is control plus c when you do control plus c you will not see any change on your writer page but this line has got copied and then if you click on the writer page the selection will go away now since we want to paste in a new line we will press the enter key or the enter button to go to a new line and we can use the shortcut command for paste which is control plus v to paste the second line similarly press enter come to the third line use the paste command shortcut command control plus v to get the third line and then again press enter go to the fourth line and so on keep pressing the enter button to go to a new line and to paste use the shortcut command control plus v one more time we will press press enter to go to a new line and then do a control plus v to get our next copy so this way you can get copy of your line 10 times on your writer page let us now revise about the fields option can you tell why we use the fields option using fields option you can insert the date time page number author name title etc on your page now show how you will insert today's date after the second line if you face any problems in this watch the video 
and learn from it. Let us watch this video and practice the use of the fields option. Let's use the fields option to insert the date after the second line. So to insert the date after the second line, we need to keep our cursor at the end of the second line as is being shown in the video. Then take your pointer to the insert option of the Mino bar and click on that. Click on the fields option and then select the dates option and you will see that the date gets inserted at the end of the second line. Let us now revise about header and footer. Can you tell what happens with header and footer? Using the header, you can give your page a heading on the top. If you want to give a title on the top of the page, you can do so using the header. And with the footer, you can put page numbers or insert the date at the bottom of the page. Next, show how you will insert a header and a footer on your page. If you have any doubts about this, watch the video and learn from it. With this video, we will practice the use of inserting the header and the footer on our writer page. So to insert the header on our writer page, we need to take our pointer to the insert option of the menu bar, click on that and then click on the header option and then click on default option. You will see that a header gets inserted on your writer page. Now, Header is used for inserting or writing the heading, the title or such information. So if we want to insert the name or the title of this class, for since we are doing a practice session, we can write practice as is being shown in the video. Next, we want to insert the date in the header in the center. So to take the cursor to the middle of the header, use the tab key on your keyboard and then take the pointer to the insert option, click on that, then click on fields option and from the options available, click on the date option. So you will see that the date gets inserted in the middle of the header. Next, if you want to insert the time in the header at the end of the header, then again you will use the tab option to go to the end of the header. Now to insert the time, take your pointer to the insert option of the menu bar, click on it, click on fields and then click on the time option. So you will see that the time gets inserted in our header. Now, since we also want to insert the footer on the writer page, we will once again take the pointer to the insert option, click on that and then click on the footer option and in the footer click on the default option. So you will see that at the end of, at the bottom of your page, a footer gets inserted. We use to insert in the footer things like the page number. So if you want to insert the page number in the footer, take your pointer to the insert option, click on that, click on fields and then click on page number. So you will see that the page number gets inserted in the footer. So this is how you use the options of header and footer on your writer page. Let us now revise the character option 
and practice using it. Can you tell what we can do with characters option? You can use the character option to do different kinds of formatting on your text or line. Let us practice the use of different options of the character option. First, change the first line so that it appears bold. Note that for doing this, you will not be using the bold option in the formatting toolbar. If you face any problem, learn by watching the video. In this video, we will use the correct character option to make our first line bold. So, in order to make the first line bold, we first need to select the line. So, we select the line by any of the methods that we already know. We then take our pointer to the format option of the menu bar. We click on the format option, left click on the format option. And then select the character option. Watch the video. A box opens, and from this box, come to the font option. And within this, you can see the typeface options. Let us select the bold italic option to make our first line bold italic. And then press on OK. So, you will see that our first line gets changed into bold italics. Let us now practice the use of font effects. Now, show how you will overline on the second line. If you have a doubt, watch the video and learn. Let us now practice the use of the character submino and overline on, our, on the second line of our paragraph. So, to get an overline on the second line of our paragraph, we first need to select the second line. So, we bring our cursor to the second line and then select it. Then, we take our pointer to the format option of the menu bar, click there, select the character option, and a box opens. From this box, select the font effects option or click on the font effects tab. In this, in the middle, you see the overlining right on top. So, if you bring your pointer to this drop down arrow here and click on it, you will see that there are many options here. So, you can select the one which you like, for instance, single double, bold, dotted or dotted bold and once you select the one which you like, press on OK and you will see that you get an overline on the second line. Next, on the third line, practice the use of the background option of the character submenu. Also, tell what happens with this. In case of a problem, Learn from the video. With the help of this video, we will learn to use the character submenu to change the background of the third line. So, first we need to select the third line. As is being shown in the video, select the third line, bring your pointer to the format option of the menu bar, click on that. And then click on character option. Now from the box which opens, click on the background option. Once you click on the background option, you will see a number of a box opens where a number of colors are available. So whichever color you want to make the background of your line, you select that color and then click on OK. So you will see that with the background option, the color of the selected line's background changes. This is how you use background color. Now, 
show how you can put a border on the fourth line. Again, watch the video in case of a problem. With this video, we will practice applying a border on the fourth line of our paragraph or the writer page. So, since we have to apply a border on the fourth line, we first need to select that as is being shown in the video. Take our cursor to the format option and then select the paragraph option. From the box that opens, click on the borders option or the borders tab. You will see many options here. Since you want to apply on the fourth line, we pick set top and bottom borders only and then click on OK and you will see that on the fourth line, on the top and the bottom, you will get a line as borders. Next, all of you insert a table and then show how you will make a sales list in it. After doing this, show your file to your teacher. Since we will be ending today's class now, close your file and properly shut down your computer. In today's class, all of you revised options of view, insert, format and table. These were things you had learned in the previous class. In the next class, you will have a practical test. After the practical test, you will all appear for a written test which will be of multiple choice type and you need to choose the correct answer. Thank you.